with any kind of collectibles, it's easy to lose track of the ultimate goal, which is this material has to mean something to someone down the line. Even if you're buying it as an investment, if you're buying it as a dealer, somebody has to fall in love with this. And fortunately, all of us here at Swan have a deep love for the material we're working with, and we can find ourselves in sympathy with, with that collector down the line who's going to fall in love with it after it's passed through our hands. Swan Gallery's namesake, Benjamin Swan, went into business in 1941 with a library so large that the only way to sell it off would be through auction. Our first sale was in 1942, and in the process of selling these books, we became, rather than just a clearinghouse for books, we became an auction house. I came to Swan, uh, George Lowry, who uh, remains the chairman of the firm, was, was still actively involved in the day-to-day -day operations. He's, he's been a link to the company's origins back in, in 1942. It's a, it's a family firm. It's been in the same family for more than 75 years. I grew up with two parents in the industry, and family dinners throughout grade school and throughout high school, which we had regularly on every weekday, would consist of my parents sitting down and talking about what had happened to them at the auction house or at the bookstore. And we would spend the weekend with the entire family and everybody would talk about business. So no matter what was happening, it was like a constant indoctrination on the book business, on the auction business. And so it really was part of mine and my brother's psyche. Like growing up, it was part of everything we did and we had no idea that other families didn't talk about this all the time because that's all we heard. I've always had a love of books ever since I was a, a little kid, and it's probably my grandmother who uh, started me on that journey. And she would take me to the library, and we would just spend afternoons uh, sitting together, uh, going through the stacks, and she'd let me take home a pile of books that I would spend my summer afternoons pouring through. I fell in love with, at the tender age of six, I fell in love with a book by Miriam Young, illustrated by by Arnold Lobel, the famous illustrator of the Frog and Toad series, but it was about a little squirrel named Miss Susie, and I felt that Miss Susie was somewhat of my alter ego, and uh, I loved it. Um, always had a copy of the book with me, and just a few months ago, by surprise, a consigner called me with the original illustrations to the book. So it became a, a dream come true being able to handle the illustrations from my favorite children's book uh, and, and, and sell them through the uh, venue of auction. It's just an incredibly knowledgeable, fun, enthusiastic bunch of people. Um, they just all know the material and they, they bring that joy to, uh, to what they're doing. Um, you know, I, I, I certainly don't have an understanding of the fine points of art, press, and illustrated books or early incunables, but they do, and, and it's, it's fantastic that, that we can cover such a wide range of material here. Uh, while we come in with our own specialties, uh, mine being uh, literature and art history and design, the beauty of being a, a specialist at SWAN is that you really do have a broad knowledge. We all need to be generalists to some extent. I mean, I'm, I'm responsible for all of American history, and that covers the entire hemisphere and a period of about five centuries. So it's hard for me to really have a deep level of expertise about any one subject, but we just have to cover such a broad range of material. We have to know a little bit about virtually everything. And that's one of the fun parts of the job. And if, if, uh, if we get in a large consignment on a particular topic, we become experts pretty quickly. The, the joy and the pleasure they get out of just dealing with books and dealing with clients is really incredible. I mean, people aren't here at Swan just as a job. They're here because this is a way to work with their passion.